hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners and in this video we will see how to use seek bar with your android activity so what is a seek bar seek bar is like a progress bar or you can say it's an extension of progress bar with a thumb attached to it okay so let's take an example how to use seek bar and uh, let's uh, see how to do it so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my palette and search for a widget called seek bar it's in the widgets and here it is you can just drag and drop into your activity you can also change the property of the seek bar so that it uh, its width it's adjusted to the width of your layout so go to the property called layout underscore width or layout colon width and instead of wrap content you can change this width uh, layout width to fill parent and it will fill the parent or the layout okay now the second thing we are going to use here is our text box and we are going to take a large text box and in here we can uh, show the progress of the seek bar or what's happening in the seek bar now uh, let's go to our main activity dot java and uh, let's write some code to, to our main activity dot java file so i'm going to go to my main activity dot java so now i'm going to declare two variables one is seek bar and other is text view okay So now we have declared uh, two variables. One is seek bar and other is text view. And let's declare a method which we can call in our onCreate method. So it will be public void seek bar, for example. And let's uh, write some code inside this method. And first of all, we are going to cast our seek bar and text view variables. So let's cast them. So now our casting is done and now we will add the listener to this seek bar. But let's uh, first set some text on our text view so that uh, it can print the progress of uh, the seek bar so text view dot set text and inside we can uh, just set some text for example covered some amount of seek bar or something like this plus the seek bar variable and we will check the progress so get progress of the seek bar so let's check the progress of the seek bar and then we will uh, show this progress against the maximum uh, uh, you know value the seek bar can show right so let's show it against the maximum value so plus seek bar dot get max okay now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to take our seek bar and uh, add a listener to this seek bar so take the seek bar dot set seek bar change listener and in here we will add a new uh, seek bar change listener so new on seek bar change listener and you will notice that whenever you press enter it adds three method to your uh, on seek bar change listener one is on progress change other is on start tracking touch and third is on stop tracking touch so this one first is for tracking the progress of your seek bar second is uh, tracking the start uh, of your seek bar and third one is for tracking the stop of your seek bar okay so now what's uh, what we are going to do is uh, in this set on click uh, change seek bar listener 
uh, let's create a variable int progress value progress value for example and this we are going to use to uh, you know store the progress of this seek bar now we are going to go into this method called on progress change method and in here you can see a variable called progress and this will give you the progress of the seek bar so we will assign this progress to our uh, user defined variable which is progress value so progress is equal to progress okay and now uh, we will assign this progress to uh, the to the text view also okay so what we are going to do here we are going to copy uh, the same text which we have set on the text view but let's see uh, what is this error this error or when we hover over this progress underscore value it says uh, the variable progress value is accessed from the inner class that means uh, you should define this inside your seek bar method in here right or better you can do it even inside here okay and then what we are going to do is we will copy this text view dot set text and paste it here and instead of this get progress we will just pass this progress variable here okay so this will show us the progress of our seek bar in the text view okay the same we are going to do in the stop tracking touch because whenever the seek bar process uh, or seek bar uh, drag is stopped we also want to uh, you know show this value on the text box but this is stored in this uh, progress value which is a global uh, variable for these three method so change it to the progress value and then uh, we can also uh, show some uh, text message using toast okay so we will uh, use toast dot make text which takes uh, three argument first is your class name or your context so main activity dot this second is the message for example seek bar bar in progress okay and let's add the third argument toast dot length long and we will show this right S the same messages we can add to our other two uh, method here one is for start tracking so in here seek bar we can say start tracking or seek bar in start tracking and in here we will just add same toast or message and we will say seek bar in stop tracking okay now uh, i think our method is uh, done so we just need to call this method inside our on create method in here and we just need to run our program so let's run the program so now our program is running and you can see initial status of our seek bar is zero and the maximum value of the seek bar is 100 right so because it's on the left top left end of the you know seek bar that's why our progress is zero right now against 100 now let's uh, try to drag this uh, thumb towards right and let's see what happens so I drag it and you can see it uh, changes uh, this um, value which is covered and it changes uh, the message or toast uh, in here right so the process changes and the message here also changes right you can see the process changes and here the message according to the change of the seek bar appears right so in this way you can track the process of seek bar using get process 
of the get process method of seek bar and the process method and that's it for this video i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and